Welcome again to ASP .NET Core tutorial. We are working with app settings file and we are learning how can we read the configuration from this app settings file. In few previous videos, we have covered few ways of them but now we will learn few more ways to read the configuration from this app settings file. So today we will understand about get value method. So let's start. We will understand what is the need of this get value method and how can we use this get value method. So let's open Visual Studio and let's try to work with this get value method. Here again we are back to our bookstore web application and if you remember in the previous video we were reading the configuration from this app settings by using this approach. So we have injected this configuration service into our home controller by using this configuration field and the name of our key we are getting the result over here but if you will focus on the return type of this approach then you will find that the return type is string in all the cases suppose in my scenario i want to add one boolean value to my json file suppose here i am writing new book alert and suppose its value is true Suppose I want to read this boolean value from this configuration file, then how can I do that? Let's comment this entire code just for a while and let's use only the first line. Okay, so this time the key is display new book alert. Let's paste it over here and let's have a look on the return type. The return type is still a string. So the output of this particular configuration is a string but we are using this value as a boolean into our configuration file now in order to use this value you need to convert it manually from a string to boolean but in asp.net core there is a much better way to read these values directly to their type let's see how can we do that in this configuration you will notice that we have a new method with name get value get value let's have a look on this get value method let's right click on this one and choose go to definition okay so here you can notice that in the get value we need to pass the type and this is an extension method for this i configuration service and in the first parameter because this one is for the extension so this will be treated as the first parameter here we need to pass the key of our configuration if i want to read the boolean value then i need to pass boolean over here in case I want to read the integer, then I need to pass the integer over here. Let's see how it works. Since we already know that the return type of this particular key is boolean. So here we can simply write bool and this time we will not use this square bracket rather we will use the parenthesis. And that's it. This time you will notice that the return type is boolean. Let's run this application in debug mode. So here you can notice that the value is in the boolean form and it is true. To understand the difference better, let's copy this code again. Let's paste it again over here. And this time, let's use this key. Let's update the name of this variable. Let's run this application again. Okay, so here we are getting the value in form of boolean. Now let's focus on the second variable and this time here you will see that we have the value in form of a string so this is the difference of using get value method now suppose i want to read this value from a property of a particular object let's create an object over here new book alert and here let's use this value this time inside this new book alert and here let's use one more message suppose this time i have created this object inside this app settings.json file and i am using this boolean value inside this object i have also created one more property over here now suppose i want to read this boolean value in my home controller then how can i do that so just like we have done in the previous videos by using this colon approach we will use the same approach over here and we will use the name of our object first then we will use the colon and we will get the value let's read the second value also and because the second value is a string so i can use a string over here and we need to use the key for this particular string so here is the key for this particular configuration and see here i'm writing book name 
perfect this time we can remove this line we no longer need this one let's run this application again in the debug mode so this is how we can read the value from an object here you can notice that we have the value from this configuration and then the name of book the message that we have written in this book name key that is available over here in this book name variable remember we have both the values into our CS file and you can use the same approach in all the files that you have used into your ASP.NET Core web application whether it is controller repository or any other CS file that you have used CS means CSR file any CSR file that you have used into your project you can get the values from this I configuration service now let's understand how can we use the same thing into our view file okay let's comment this code Suppose I want to display an alert message in my application whenever I release a new book. Let's see how can we do that from the configuration file. Okay, so let's go to the view pages and in the view pages we can go to the header page because this is common in all the pages and after this navbar we can write our code over here. Okay, so I have added the code of this alert info over here in this header.cshtml. Let's run this application again by pressing Ctrl F5. Over here you can see that we are having this alert message and this is the hardcoded message that we have written into our alert box. If you will navigate to other pages then you will see that this alert message is available on all the pages because we have written this code into the header.cshtml and that is available in the layout file so basically it is common in all the files perfect now suppose i want to configure this alert box from our configuration file i want to configure this message and i want to configure its visibility let's see how to handle that we have already injected this i configuration service into our header.cshtml so we can use the same field and we can read the value of our configurations that is the message and the boolean flag in this alert box let's do that so we can use this configuration dot get value so basically we need to use this get value method and if you will search for the get value then you will notice that it is not available over here let's type it again and let's see then you can notice immediately that we have a red line under this get value method and it is not available into our view file why is this not available for that first let's go to the home controller and over here let's right click on this get value method and choose go to definition here you can notice that this is an extension method and this extension method is available in this namespace microsoft.extensions.configuration so we need to use this namespace into our view file let's see how can we do that we are already using this namespace for this particular field we can divide this line into two parts how in the first one we can simply write using so here we can define our namespace and this is the namespace like this and we can simply remove this dot perfect now let's again try to get this get value method and this time you will notice that we are having this get value method for this configuration field and the type of this value is a string we have to use it into parenthesis like this and here we can simply type a string then we can define the name of our key the name of our key is First we have new book alert let's do that then colon and then let's type the name of our key and the name of key is book name perfect let's save the changes again run this application by pressing ctrl f5 so here you can notice that we have the message from our configuration file a new book abc.pdf is released without making any other change in the application let's change this message this time suppose i'm writing xyg save the changes go back to the browser and refresh the page here you can notice that the message is updated so if you are using this approach you do not have to build or deploy your application again and again to see the updated changes now let's see how can we display and hide this message based on this flag so here i can simply use again this address symbol then if and in the if box i can use the same settings let's copy this line paste it over here and this time we need to use this display new book alert let's use it over here 
the type of this key is boolean so we can use boolean and we can simply use this message inside this if condition again go back to the browser and just refresh this page you will notice that message is visible because the value of our flag is true that is why it is visible now let's update the value and let's make it false again go back to the browser refresh this page and this time you will notice that message is hidden let's navigate to other menus in all the page you will see that the message is not visible so all the settings are working from the configuration now let's understand one more approach what will happen if i do not have this key let's cut this code save the changes again go back to the browser refresh this page you will notice that we do not have any error and still our application is working but the alert box is not visible why if you are using this get value method in your application and you are defining the type and suppose by any chance this key is not available into your app settings file then the default value of this particular type will be returned from this get value method so in our scenario the default value of boolean is false so we are getting a false value over here that is why this message is not visible so this is how you can use the get value method in your application and you can read the values from app settings file that is all that is all in this video in the next one we will learn how can we use the get section method to get a complete section from our app settings dot json file make sure to hit the like button your feedback into the comment section share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day